Civility is about leadership, and civility is also about grace. Corporate civility is the new currency. I believe in respect. It's as simple as that. I believe that it matters how we treat ourselves, and it matters how we treat one another. I'm Sue Jakes, and I'm the Civility CEO. My mission is to help people gain confidence, earn respect, and create courteous corporate cultures. The difference between etiquette and civility, I believe, is that civility is about who we bring to work, and etiquette is about what we do at work. I believe that we can't dress ourselves up until we know who we are inside. So my approach to image consulting is very, very different. We develop a relationship. Um, I get to know who you are, and I get to learn about how you want to present yourself to the world. For 18 years, I was a death investigator at the medical examiner's office, and what I, what I saw were so many unlived lives, unfulfilled lives, and lives that ended all too early because, in many cases, of disrespect. And through the years, I realized that perhaps I could take what I'd learned through that unique experience and turn it into a message to inspire people to bring their best selves to work, to challenge themselves to do the best that they possibly can by creating quality relationships, creating quality work, and um, going one step further than may be expected to make sure that they make a difference in the world, a very positive difference. There comes a point for each of us when we need to start getting it. And something will happen in our lives, professionally or personally, when the light goes on and we think, I need to up my skills in this area. Civility is about character and conduct, not rules and regulations. So the more we can change our thinking around that and look at it more as putting our best selves out there, not to try to be better than everybody else, but to try to be the best we that we can. And that applies to individuals, groups, teams, communities, and corporations. In fact, some people call what I teach soft skills, and yet I disagree because I think they're some of the hardest things we have to learn in life.